Hall, we're going to start off with you. Uh, Double-handed in this race, and of course, uh, the great masterminded. Has his preparation gone well since his last uh, race course action? Yeah, it has. Um, as you know, he had a breathing operation in the summer. Uh, it sort of turned him round. He's won three out of three. I don't think he was at his best the last day he ran at Ascot. Um, he's much better when he's very fresh and very, very hard fit, which he is at the moment. Um, yeah, he's in good order. I mean, you know, we still got to beat last year's winner. He's the champion. He's the one to beat. But I'm very happy with his prep and the way he's at the moment. Very good. And welcome, Folly. Yeah, he did a great bit of work on Saturday. Um, he wouldn't want the ground too soft. But you know, just talking to Ruby there, watching the two races. I mean, I wouldn't have ever held welcome, Folly, and Masterminded in the same breath. And you know, he may well be improving, but. I'd be very surprised if he beat Masterminded, let alone, you know, Big Zeb. I think he's got it all to do still. Okay, and you wouldn't put off anybody from having a few quid on Masterminded at that price? I did a great bit of work on Saturday. I, I'm, I mean, he's never going to be back to that, the best he was when he won as a five-year-old. That was just a one-off. But, you know, he, he keeps on winning. He's won a couple of great ones this year. He's definitely a better horse than he was last year because he can breathe. Um, you know, it is a, it's a competitive race and an open race, but I think he's got a big chance. OK, thank you, Paul, for uh, those comments. Uh, Paul Carberry, what would you want to ride in the Queen Mother? Um, well, I'd love to ride Masterminded two years ago, the way he, he's an absolute star to watch, uh, the way he jumps. He's the type of horse I like to, to ride when they jump like that. But um, I think Big Zeb is going to be hard to beat. Um, the way he won it last year, if he's back to that form, he'd be hard to beat. OK, Ruby, your thoughts on it. Gold and silver, would this be the year that, maybe not win it, but sneak into a place? Yeah, he definitely represents each way of value. I mean, you could argue that if he jumped the last in Leperstown, he'd have beaten Big Zeb that day as well, as beaten him in Punchestown the last day. Um, I haven't been all that overly impressed with Big Zeb this year. Um, I know he's a difficult horse to train, and um, Colin has done well with him, but he hasn't, he hasn't done it for me. And, uh, you know, I think if Masterminded runs... So up, to, up to the standard that he can run to, he'd be incredibly hard to beat. OK, you're obviously looking forward to getting back on him again. Yeah, he's a wonderful horse to ride. He's a great jumper, loads of speed, he stays well. Um, he's a very straightforward ride and, uh, you know, I, I, w I am looking forward to riding him and I, I do think he'll take quite a bit of beating. Is Gold and Silver going there in good form as well? Have you seen him work or have yeah, you ridden him? Yeah, Gold and Silver home? is flying. Um, no, I, I don't ever ride him. Usually one of the girls ride him. He's, a, he's an old pet and he likes to think he's in charge. So, that, so the girls usually ride him and he does his own thing. But um, he's, a, he's in flying form. And, uh, you know, you could say if he, if he did attack and jump a bit quicker at times, he'd have a better chance. But it's just that odd that tendency he has to be a bit deliberate that will catch him out at this level. I done an interview with Willie the other day and he said that they're going to change uh, riding tactics differently this year. They're going to drop him in a bit instead of uh, forcing the pace with him as they have the, done the last twice he's run there. Do you think that'll be a difference to him? Yeah, I mean, they've been dropping him in all year. Um, I'm sure it will, of course. I mean, it, it's often you can often run better than you should when you're ridden from behind. But, um, you know, he, he has to have a chance, yeah. OK, fair enough. Uh, Pat Keane, masterminded Big Zeb. Are you looking elsewhere? Is it between the top two in the betting? Well, all, all the bookmakers tell me that they're going to go and get Masterminded and Big Zeb. They believe or they think that there's a chance of getting bored and beaten. But uh, I'm struggling to see where it's going to come from because there's talk today about Summers be going for the Ryanair. Wilcom Folly is a rapidly improving handicapper, but there's no evidence that he's good enough to win this. Captain CB has had more chances than I've had hot dinners. Um, and you've had a good few I've hot dinners. I've had a good few hot dinners. Um, Colin Silver, brilliant horse at home, but he's been to Cheltenham twice and he hasn't he hasn't run well there. Um, I don't know if you fancy Big Zeb, you have to forgive him. Punchestown, I I I can't forgive him that because Colin Silver didn't jump great early on. He hit the third last and he was still able to pick up Big Zeb. I saw I was at, I was at Ascot in November when Master Minded won and he absolutely blew me away. That uh, um, I think if he turns up, you know, as, not as good as he was originally because that as. Paul Nichols said that was a freak, but I think if he turns up near his best, I think he'll win.